Hey guys, it's Libby. So first things first, insects. Currently, the biggest fly I have ever seen is buzzing around the house, so he may dart into frame. Say hi. Uh, also, my cat is trying to eat him, so you may hear a scuffle. Now, this video is actually not about the pests in my house. It is about my TBR for the Torathon. Oh, she found it. Did she eat it? Did you eat it, Nova? Oh god, she ate it. Oh god. Oh, she doesn't like it, but she's eating it. <laughs> Nova, why do you do this? Oh god, there's another one. Oh, 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 guys. Oh! Don't hurt yourself, Nova! <laughs> I'm gonna go open a window. Okay, he flew out. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. What was this video about? That's right. TBR for the Torathon. Um, if you're like Libby, what is the Torathon? It's a readathon that I'm hosting. You can find out more information uh, in the announcement video, which I will link below. Yeah, I got rid of the fly nova. He flew out the window. Oh, he's sad. He wanted to eat it. I don't think he should be eating flies. I think they'll make you sick. Anyway, yeah, it's a readathon going on this weekend um, that is dedicated to Tor.com short fiction. I have a couple of novellas that I want to get to. Um, the first one is uh, All Systems Read by Martha Wells, which is the first in the Murderbot Diaries. This is one that I downloaded when they were giving it away for free a couple of months ago. Um, and, uh, and then, uh, unless it's completely terrible, I will move on to the second one in that series, which is not Rogue Protocol. Rogue Protocol is the third one. What's the second one? Artificial Condition, which came out a couple of weeks ago, um, so I can read the first two in the series back to back. Um, and then the, the next novella I would like to read is Sorcerer of the Wild Eeps by Kaya Shante Wilson, but I'm not totally sure that I will be able to, because this is one that they were giving away for free uh, like a year or two ago. It was like if you signed up for their newsletter you got a free download, um, and I did that and I downloaded it, but it didn't count as like a purchase from Amazon that cost zero dollars. It counted, it was like an extra Amazon thing. And the computer that I downloaded onto has since died and I'm on a new computer which like doesn't have it because I had only stored it locally not in my like Kindle Cloud or however that works. Uh, so is there any way I can like <laughs> get it? Let me know if you have any advice or if I just have to fork over the four dollars. But once I finish all of the novellas, I'm going to move on to the short stories, which are available for free on Tor.com's website. Um, there are a lot of these, like hundreds? They may have hit a thousand. But for me, this is the year of making it easy to decide what thing to read next. So with the books that I own, uh, I'm just reading through them alphabetically by author. Um, when I wanted to read a bunch of George Bernard Shaw works, I sorted them by uh, date and I just read them in publication order. So what I'm gonna do here is I have sorted all of the Tor.com short stories by author uh, and I've started at A, sort of worked my th way through and found 25 that I want to read. 25 is kind of a lot. Um, some of these are like very short though, like I can definitely read in less than 10 minutes. And I also wanted to have the list of things I would possibly get to ahead of time um, because David may be joining me in reading some of these short stories, so I wanted him to have uh, a list that he could choose from. So you may see David in my Torathon vlog. So if you would like to join me on any of these, here are the things I will uh, possibly be reading, although I may not get to the ones towards the end. Um, by Joan Aiken, I've got The Cold Flame and Reading in Bed. By Nina Allen, I've got The Art of Space Travel. Then I have a bunch by Charlie Jane Anders. Six Months, Three Days, Margot and Rosalind, The Cartography of Sudden Death, As Good as New, The Unfathomable Sisterhood of Ick, uh, The Fermi Paradox is Our Business Model, and Intestate. By Juliana Baggett, The Virtual Swallows of Hog Island and Mental Diplopia. Um, by Dale Bailey, A Rumor of Angels. Um, Kelly Barnhill's Mrs. Sorensen and the Sasquatch. I really don't know what this one is going to be like. It, it is so clearly advertising itself as a certain thing that, that I feel it must be somehow subverting that certain thing. Um, uh, I'm very curious about that one. Uh, then Stephen Baxter's The Martian in the Wood, um, Peter S. Beagle's The Story of Cao Yu, 
um, Elizabeth Bear, a couple by her, Faster Gun, This Chance Planet, and The Girl Who Sang Rose Matter, then a couple by Gregory Benford, the difficult to pronounce, uh, the Sigma Structure Symphony, um, Grace Immaculate, and Backscatter, uh, and then River of Souls by Beth Burnovich, uh, A Window or a Small Box by Jedediah Berry, and Breakwater by Simon Bestwick. And no, I am not encouraged by the fact that the maximum number of stories I think I'll be able to get to uh, still only gets me into the early B's in the alphabetical listing. It looks like this read all the stuff that sounds good on Tor.com will be a project that I'm working on for several years. We'll just have to do more Torathons, guys. So let me know what you guys will be reading and I'll see you later.